All right, uh, here we are. Um, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Critical T3. Uh, I have been watching YouTube videos and LPs for a long time and have been wanting to do the same, but haven't had the capability uh, to do it in the past, but I do now, at least partially. Um, my setup isn't the greatest as of right now, but uh, I look to improve it later. Um, so, uh, I guess I should start by saying that I love survival horror. It is my favorite genre in video games. Uh, I love the difficulty. I love the... Uh, the, the spookiness, the scariness, the quirkiness, I love the puzzles, everything. It's just, it's phenomenal. I think it all comes together perfectly into a well-made product that you don't get to see usually. Um, I started playing survival horror back in the PS1 era when Resident Evil 2 came out. And that is by far my favorite one in the series, as I'm sure it is a lot of people's. Um, but I have played three. Two and three I've completed. One I got most of the way through, but never completed. Remake I got most of the way through, but never fully completed. And uh, I've played Code Veronica almost all the way through. I got, I think, to the final level. And then I lost my PS2, so that was sad for me. Um, although I did revisit it a little bit uh, whenever they released the HD remaster. Um, let me clarify something, though, by saying that I do not like uh, the modern idea of survival horror. I feel the last bit of survival horror died out a long time ago, and... I have tried desperately to play every single survival horror game I can find from the past, i.e. anything in the PS2 era or that's uh, mentionable anywhere else. I do not like the way that Resident Evil 4 feels, or 5 or 6, any of those, I just don't like it. I think they're just not as quality as they used to be. And I feel like the change in control in control schemes and uh, shifting from camera angles to over the shoulder was just too much. I feel like they tried to go for a shooter type, and it just Resident Evil falls apart when you make it make the shooting a bit better. And that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people love Resident Evil 4. I'm not going to bash it too hard. It's just not my cup of tea. And I appreciate the older ones a lot better, because for the time and the console constraints, they had to get creative, and I, I appreciate that. I like the pre-rendered backgrounds. I think they're beautiful. Um, I like how that enabled them to focus more on the character models and make them look prettier. And it's just, I think it comes together perfectly, and I think... If we had newer games that did pre-rendered backgrounds, you could really do something beautiful with it, but nobody's wanted to touch that technology since they don't have to now. But anyways, enough about all of that. Um, I am here with you today to play Resident Evil Remake, uh, the newly remastered HD version that they just released not too long ago. Um, now, I did play this a while back, uh, not all the way through. I played the GameCube version, though, and I emulated it. So it was a little weird looking because I tried to get it to look the best it could, but it was stretched because it didn't support 16x9. And I ran into a couple of bugs, but were able to get over them, thankfully. Um, but I never completed it. So... Uh, I also don't know very much about it. I can't remember that much about it. I do remember some of the bosses. I remember some of the puzzles, but not all of them. And I definitely don't remember the layout of the house, the mansion, I should say. 
Um, so I figured I'd pick this one up and start my LP days with this because I think it'd be more interesting for new viewers to see me either epically fail or, you know, whatever else. So, uh, that being said, Resident Evil. I am not a master of survival horror, and I will never claim to be. I just enjoy them. That means that I am going to do something stupid, probably. And you guys are probably going to yell at me in the comments, you know, do this or do that, or man, face palm, etc. So, uh, that is all for your enjoyment, or your headache, whichever you prefer. Um, so, I guess let's get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on the hardest difficulty. I love doing this. Um, any game I pick up nowadays, I always go for the hardest difficulty, no matter what it is. Even if it's an old one, and I know these are hard, but I'm still going to do it, because I... I don't know. I am a glutton for pain, I guess. So here we go. I mean, this is the hardest difficulty provided to me now, obviously, since I haven't completed it on the PC version. Oh, which I should note, I am on the PC version using a controller. Uh, I do not want to use the mouse and keyboard because I feel like that would be really wonky. Uh, I've always played survival horror with a controller, and I think I'm just going to keep it that way because that's what's most comfortable to me. <laughs> So, last time I played, I played as Chris, because every time I looked up a video of Resident Evil, whether it was the original very first one on the PS1, or if it was the remake, I always saw people playing as Jill. So I wanted to see what it was like as Chris. Now, I understand, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, they have different attributes in a way. I think Chris is stronger in terms of health. He can take more hits. Uh, but he has a smaller inventory, and Jill has a bigger inventory, but is weaker, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. I think that's what it is, though. But, uh, as you can see, they have the two different skins. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick the skin from, what is that, the RE5 DLC, I think. I think that's what this is from. That's what it looks like. Um... And, yeah, so I'm going to play as Chris, uh, and I'm just going to try and survive. Now, the cutscene might be loud, and I'm not going to talk during it, because my testing has shown that the cutscene does not interact with the game's volume settings at all. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. I love these old cutscenes that are both hilarious but also kind of good. Like, I like this camera angle. <laughs> but the voice acting is obviously a little ridiculous. I wish they had kept the original voice acting from the PS1 version. I think that would have added a little more to this. But it's okay. I love this version the most.
this way. Time to enter the survival horror. I also want to note Chris's hand looked ridiculous. There are only scene. three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. All right. So there is our opening. Um, I don't think I'm going to take this right now, actually. <clears throat> Alright, so, uh, I want to note, this game looks phenomenal. They did a very good job uh, remastering this. The lighting, when the lightning flashes, the audio is really good, the shadows are great. I mean, this game is awesome. I mean, you can almost hardly tell that the background is pre-rendered. I mean, obviously it is, but it just looks so good. They did great. And like I said before, I love these pre-rendered backgrounds. So, I've played a, a little bit of this, of the remaster, that is. And, uh, I was trying to record yesterday, but it was running into issues, and I couldn't get it to work before I went off to work, so hopefully today will be different. Alright, let's see our first zombie. That looks great. Like, reformatting the cutscenes even, they did a great job. It looks really good in 16 by 9. So let's go ahead and go out here. And there should be a gun waiting for me. I do remember some things. Just not everything. Look at that reflection of Wesker? Chris walking. Jill? So good. Where did they go? I wonder, where did they go, Chris? By the way, I chose this uh, skin of Chris because they just seem hellbent on uh, making him a big, bulky, tough guy. Uh, that it just, it seems more appropriate, I guess, because in every other game, Except for Code Veronica, Chris is like huge, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play as, play as him this way. I was actually kind of excited when I saw that they added those skins, because I actually like the skins. Um, a friend of mine says he likes the original Chris better, but uh, I'm just gonna go with this. Alright, so I remember there's a map up here, and then if you go down there, there's a knife and a Zambambo. And, uh, I'm not going to go down there because I don't think there's a way to get past the Zambo without uh, using the knife, so I'll save that room for later. I mean, I could obviously shoot, but I don't want to do that right now. So, I remember very little, 
Uh, I remember this, the first section of this game, like the very, like maybe the first 30 minutes or so, but that's about it. I don't remember anything else. So, you're going to have to wait maybe until the next part to see some hilarious failures. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to lure this guy and grab this. Yes, yes, I know. I don't remember if this was in the original remake, but uh, you can apparently reload your weapon now while you aim, like just manually. I don't remember that being in the original remake for the GameCube, but it could have been, I'm just not remembering things correctly. But if it wasn't, I'm super stoked that they added it in because even though inventory reload is the way to go in most cases, it's fun to get out of a fight and then just uh, reload your gun like a badass. Alright, so we got that knocked down. like it used to. I mean, I'm using a PS3 controller. Um, but it's emulated as an Xbox 360 controller. Just for compatibility, obviously. Alright, so there's a Zambo down here. I'm just stand there being a creepoid, so we can go this way. And this guy, Kenneth, good old Kenneth, has a tape, which I don't think you ever get to see what's on that tape. Okay, this is my favorite shot. This camera angle with the lighting, and you can even see like the dust going up into the light shafts, Chris's shadow on the wall, just looks great. Looks amazing. I mean, I think they revamped the lighting quite a bit in this version, but I can't remember if they did or not. But if they didn't, it looks phenomenal for a GameCube game, too. And there's my uh, green herbs, my first green herbs. I'll go ahead and combine them. I can't remember, I don't think this guy has anything. What the hell, indeed. Also, I want to note, there's chains on the wall. Shackles, even. Oh, wow, that's good. I didn't notice that before. The chandelier is rocking, so Chris's shadow is moving in accordance to that. That is, that is great. Also, the mirror is functional, apparently. Even more awesome. Actually, I th if I'm not mistaken, that mirror shows a zombie later on. That's like one of the few things I remember. <clears throat> Alright, so we got our first crimson head here, which I'm not gonna fuck with. But I am gonna shoot the shit out of this guy. And then go down here. Grab this. By the way, I am sorry if you hear things in my background. Uh, my microphone setup is not all that great right this second. Um, I'm looking to upgrade it later, so just bear with me. Alright, got that. And now it's on to the weird uh, 
graveyard. You know what I mean? Just, oh, love reloading. And I love the animations, they look good. to his poor man's emerald. I love that. I love just little, just, just things that they didn't have to put in, but they did. Which is great. And down we go. If I remember correctly, you come back to this part later on in the game, but I don't remember what for. I know it's to place masks or something. Yeah, there's the, the masks. Um, Stone with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. Yeah. And then, if I'm not mistaken, this book over here talks about those. The Book of Curses. So let's examine it. There's a key. Yes, of course I'll remove it. The Book of Curses. Book of Curses, the four masks, a mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. Then, or no, when all four, play, all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Right. Maybe it was Chris's fault that the evil then was created. idiot, I didn't even have to shoot him, he just turned around. Alright. I'm on our way. Back inside. I can't remember if you get the shotgun as Chris. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do, but I don't remember actually. If not, that's fine. Even though I like the shotgun a lot. Engraving of a sword. Sword key. Alright, so I should be able to go down here then. Oh no, that's armor. My bad. Let's see, where is it? Ah, here we go. Ah, this area. There's a lot of shit here. Like this guy. Even though the dog whistle is right there, I'll come back for that. Uh, let's examine this room for a little bit. An open journal, the pages are blank. And then there's a book here. Botany, uses of medical herbs. It is a well-known fact that there exist many plants that are credited with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native to the Arclay Mountains and briefly outline each of the medical or medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and distinct medicinal quality. So basically, this is just telling you green herb heals wounds, red herb... I don't even remember, I think you just combine it to make it stronger, and then uh, blue herb heals poison. <clears throat> Wasn't too fond of uh, blue herbs in Code Veronica. 
Hated that shit. Alright, so... Down here we've got our storage box, the very first one. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I actually can't remember what this fit mounts is for. Uh, this is where things get hazy for me. Uh, like I said, I only remember the beginning. Oh, okay, yes, it does open. There's paper attached on the inside, nothing written on it. Oh, that's right, we have to... Don't I have to burn something onto this? Or something of that description? Yeah, something like that happens. Alright. Gonna go ahead and dump the knife. Uh, I know that the knife in Code Veronica is overpowered, but I don't think you can use the same method in this. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me, because I don't remember hardly anything. Um, I'll go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dump the wooden mount. Um, and then here we have a paper. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. Information regarding the beings, incineration, destruction of the head, blah blah blah. Now, I would like to note something here. To those of you who still have the will to live, I mean, that's just hardcore. It's like, it's like, if you don't want to die, you can go ahead and use this method. But we're not going to give you anything to ignite the oil with, so good luck. I mean, that would kill your will to live right there. Alright, and if I remember correctly, this is the flask to keep the oil in, or whatever. Let me pick it up. Fuel canteen. Alright. And it's just, uh, it looks like something you drink out of. You can carry with you fuel to light a few times using a lighter. So... I can't remember if you get matches later, or you can just do it, but I'm not going to carry it with me right now. I mean, there are probably people screaming at me right now in the comments, just like, oh my god, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Alright, so, old key. Uh, if I remember, these are for extra areas, or to open shortcuts, or something of that description. Uh, they're super useful. Either way, I like them. Um, let's see, wait, let's take a look at that again. An old key of the mansion. Looks like you might be able to open most simply designed door locks. Yeah, some, something like that. I don't remember how to, where to use them, though. <laughs> map tells you either. Uh, not really, not that I see. Anyhow, alright. So now we've got our stuff. Uh, I think I'll keep the old key with me. Um, and... Um... It's about time. I've got to stop this part because I have to go to work soon. But uh, thank you for watching with me. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry that this part is a little short. Um, but uh, I will try and fit in a video every weekday. Weekends tend to be a little busy for me. So um, I'm going to try every day to make a video. Every weekday, that is. So you probably won't see another video f until Monday. Uh, but usually it'll be uploaded early in the morning. Around probably 8, 9. 
uh, Eastern, so uh, that's when you can expect videos. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, you know, I'll see you in the next part.